Let's continue learning about how computers store data. As we learned earlier, computers use the binary system, which has only two numbers, 1 and 0. The word that's used to describe these binary digits, which can be either 1 or 0, is a bit, B-I-T. It's short for binary digit, and it's the smallest unit of data in a computer. Now, these bits, these ones and zeros, are used to store all kinds of information, from the text that appears on your screen, to the colors of an image, to the sounds that come out of your speakers. To store information like this, we use a bunch of bits together. The number of bits we have determines how much information we can store. So, for our next term, it turns out if you take eight of these bits, eight of these ones and zeros, and put them together, that's called a byte. Sounds like a mouthful of food, but it's spelled with a Y, and it refers to eight bits put together. In everyday terms, you can think of one byte as the amount of space it takes to store one single letter or symbol in a text document. So if you wrote a short story with a thousand words, this would require about a thousand bytes of storage space. That brings us to our next term. If you take 1,000 bytes and put them together, that's called a kilobyte, often abbreviated as KB or just K. Now, I will mention just once that technically there are 1,024 bytes in a kilobyte. And that's because computers use binary and everything comes in powers of two. Um, that said, it doesn't really matter and it's okay to think of a kilobyte as simply 1,000 bytes, similar to how a kilometer is 1,000 meters or a kilogram is 1,000 grams. One kilobyte is enough space to hold about two pages of text. Back in the late 1970s and early 1980s, the five and a quarter inch floppy disk was a popular storage option. It could hold 360 kilobytes of information. So now, what's it called if you have a thousand kilobytes? It's called a megabyte, often abbreviated as capital MB. One megabyte is enough space to hold about five large books, or one photo, or one minute of music. This was a three and a half inch floppy disk back in the 1980s that held 1.4 megabytes of data, which was pretty good at the time because most files were pretty small. All right, now you're probably wondering, What's it called if you have a thousand megabytes? A thousand megabytes is called a gigabyte. And it's enough space to hold about 400 books, or a thousand pictures, or 16 hours of music. By the mid 1990s, you could buy a one gigabyte hard drive for a couple hundred bucks. Today, you can buy a one gigabyte flash drive for about five dollars. Okay, so what's it called when you have a thousand gigabytes? A thousand gigabytes is called a terabyte and is often abbreviated as TB. It's enough space to hold about 400,000 large books. That's 30 school libraries a million pictures, or two years of continuous music. Today, you can buy a one terabyte hard drive for under $50. Yes, it's pretty amazing. So, to recap, we talked about bits, how there are eight bits in one byte, how there are a thousand bytes in one kilobyte, and a thousand kilobytes in one megabyte, and a thousand megabytes in one gigabyte, and a thousand gigabytes in one terabyte. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you have a better understanding of digital storage terminology.